summary and uh, it was mostly just a rant about I don't know depressingness uh, nothing new there but then um, I just watched The Rock uh, give a little clip people are asking him about his training regimen for Black Adam this movie he's working on and yeah he looks like me I mean not exactly like me he's got a similar haircut um, and he's my age he's in a better shape um, and just I don't know made me think like he was he's positive he's like you know this is you gotta you've got to put in the work uh, he's promoting his energy drink uh, he's got he's probably in Hawaii so it's got like warm in, in the background and stuff warm weather and so it made me think positive made me think like what if I did that for you guys what if I was like hey everyone like you know here's my positive message of the day let's do this like would that be interesting day uh, cardio in the morning on an empty stomach and then training later on in the afternoon or sometimes late at night around 10 10 at night or even midnight sometimes uh, I've been training um, for the big one uh, black Adam uh, well, we try to I would post the dream summary right now just to get it out but I still feel like no I've got to post the the week's stuff in chronological order so I'll do that um here you can see it is snowing which is kind of pleasant and I think it's only like minus seven out so here's what I'm gonna do I'm afraid to go for a run because I feel like uh I don't know it, it feels like I'll come back and I've now the time has passed and nothing will be left and you know it's like I'm dying in a way it's weird oh there's more squirrels um but uh, the the reality is, no, I can come back and then do some more stuff this afternoon. There's a two o'clock call. Sorry, this is from my CPAP machine. I think I need to wash it. Um, the, the Rock is like, I'm working out. What are the, you know, let's do this. And I'm like, oh, my CPAP machine. It's just, um, mm, I should probably wash my CPAP machine because I've got like, uh, what do you call that when you can't breathe at night? Sleep apnea. Anyways, all right, I'll go for a jog and then I'll come back and, you know, we'll do some work. It is almost a wrap uh, for my Thursday night workout. This is my second workout. Uh, there's been a lot of comments, a lot of questions about the post that I posted this morning, uh, sharing with you guys that I'm gonna share more of my Black Adam training and my uh, my prep for- All right, I still haven't gone for the jog. It's snowing out, which looks nice. But you know, it took me a while to, I'm like, oh, I gotta get up and put my tights on. And then I'm like, it's already one. Okay, but then I'm like, is my phone charged? Oh, let me just look at Instagram for a minute. And then now it's like the Zoom call is in 10 minutes. So I guess I'll go afterwards because I still need to run. Um, and I just, you know, I saw, maybe I should make a little video about this later, but I saw my friend Michael from high school post that today's his 49th birthday and it's the same age that his dad died and he didn't realize how young his dad was at the time. His dad had a 19 year old and a 17 year old kid at the time. I think Michael had an older sister, maybe. So maybe he was 17. And that just depresses me. I actually have a collection. Every time I see somebody post about their father dying, I have a collection on Facebook. I don't know why, just because it, it makes me so sad. And, uh, and then I just saw this woman, Sandy Sharkey, post about uh, a radio personality who died and how she, you know, was a young beginning radio person and she became friends with this guy and they solved many of the world's problems over pints at uh, this pub at, in Barhaven. I'm like, that must have been nice, but did, I hate that things end like that. Uh, he lost a battle to cancer and then who else died? Um, I saw somebody else post about, oh, I just read, I thought it was in my made to do this group, but it was another group I'm in called Your Message Matters Challenge and a woman says her husband died and she's trying so hard taking all these classes but she's like are these classes all a distraction she finds it so hard to do things in a pandemic and do it alone but she's really trying today she feels a bit of a light you know like me she can do this she can give back it just makes me so sad the idea of losing your spouse and i've never even had a spouse i don't know which is worse but i guess everybody could i mean did i tell you that kathy and the call on thursday said uh you know every day is like another step to saying goodbye to her kids and her family. Like, I guess I can't handle this. All I can do is just try to be positive. I don't, maybe that's not the right thing. You know what? I just need to keep my mind busy. Like doing the, the call, the, the live streaming with Lauren yesterday made me happy because, hey, we're talking, we're being funny, I'm producing content, we're getting somewhere. This afternoon I'll do the homework for that, uh, the business thing and, and just do that. And, um, 
you know, I'll run a little Instagram class for people. Oh, there's the love box I made the video about last night. So yeah, I just gotta keep busy. And I mean, The Rock is doing his thing. His dad died too this year. God, but he's got kids and he gets up and he works out. and It helps to be The Rock, I guess. But you know what? I could be The Rock this, you know. All right, let's, let's do this. Tell you, that is making me happy right now, okay? <laughs> You know, you know what? Vaughn missed the show. So when Vaughn came, during, just before the halftime show, when Vaughn came, everyone said, hey, wait a second, Vaughn was not here in the beginning. He must be the Zoom bomber, you This know? is something called the Happy <laughs> Happy Business Networking thing or something. My first time I just joined, but it's already oh, it's already over. Cool. So you know, I, you know, uh, I was busy in another meeting. Oh, my God. Look how beautiful it is out. Snowing. Ah, I haven't been outside for days. Okay, well, let's go for my little jog while the sun is still out somewhere. I'm going to listen to the uh, podcast thing on Zoom while I'm jogging. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. My instinct is to say something negative, like, oh, God, I wish I had a wife or a girlfriend to walk and hold hands with in the snow, but whatever. I, I'm going to stop saying that for now because... What's the point? Um, I'm just going to try to say happy things and see if that works. Uh, wow. 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 You guys have done an awesome job. Um, it, you know, you weren't pushy about it. You just said your event. And, I, you know, there are tons and tons of events like this about podcasting. And something, I was supposed to come to this one. I, I really, really was. And so I'm so happy. Hello, we are a podcast. It's all about creating a podcast. So you can record a podcast live. It is okay to record, but they don't, at this time, they don't have internal recording functionality. But you could do that. You could have a themed room. I love that. That's a great idea to be in alignment with your co host. Remember setting the tone. Like, what are the rules? I, I've done that before Clubhouse even existed. I would have pre event calls with all the panelists and say, here is.